Today, I'm gonna to be showing you six logo generators for you to generate a logo for your business, YouTube channel, or just your hobbies. And all of these links will be down in the description below, so if you find one you wanna check out, They'll be right there. So let's hop right into the video. Now, the first two sites we're gonna be checking out are more of AI generators. These are ones that you need to make your own prompt for. They're a little bit more work, but you will get a much more custom logo out of it. So this first one in that category is called Ideogram. And this is a very new tool, which is simply amazing. And as you can see here on their homepage, there are people generating all kinds of images, some that look more like logos, others that just look more like AI images. So this is really a universal tool for you to use whatever you want. However, we're gonna be using it for the sake of creating an amazing logo. I'm gonna be using the same concept for a logo brand for each one of these logo generators. So you can see what each one is capable of. And the company we are creating a logo for is this imaginary company called Gourmet Brew. And this is like an authentic coffee shop kind of logo. So we want it to be more, you know, unique and not super rigid and more like, you know out there so I have this prompt right here that we are going to use and you see I want to have this with text so it's going to take this text and put it into the logo. And then over here, I'm just gonna leave the settings the same, and then I'm gonna hit generate. And then it does not take long at all for this to generate, and it generates four images for you. And there we go, in less than 30 seconds, we have four really cool images with the text, Then the text looks perfect. I don't, you know, it's, you'll if you scroll down, you'll see some text that look a little bit weird, but, a lot of times the text just looks amazing. And certainly nothing you can't go in and fix with like Photoshop real quick. Like this has an extra hoop for the B, super easy fix. But yeah, these generated some really amazing images, but these aren't exactly what I would say I would want a logo to look like necessarily. So I'm gonna actually put the word logo up here, which is, I should have done that in the beginning. And that just tells it that we wanna specifically focus on logos because again, this is a very you know universal generator. So let's do that. And there we go. We have some awesome looking logos that I think fit the style that we're going for perfectly. These are just super amazing. I especially like this one. Like this is exactly, you know, what you want to see for Gourmet Brew. That's more of an organic thing. You just have the bean straight in the cup. You know, there's no preservatives or anything in there. It's just the bean. Obviously, you know, made into coffee, but you know, it's it's supposed to like represent the company sort of, and I think this does a great job, but really all of these look amazing for the style that we're going for. So overall, Ideogram is an amazing tool, and I would highly check this out if you want more of an AI generator uh, logo, because this is the best one that there is so far. And with Ideogram, you get 25 free generations, and then you have to upgrade to a premium plan, uh, but 25 is plenty because you have to keep in mind, that's 25 prompts, and then each one you get four. So it's 25 times four, which is 100. You get 100 images for free with this tool, so definitely go check it out. Now this second tool for generating a logo is called Logo Diffusion. Now you may be wondering if the previous tool was so good, what's the point and what would the benefit to this one be? Because this one does not generate text as well. It does have that feature in beta, but this one I would not go to for generating text. What I would use this one for is their features. Ideogram is much more of just a general image generator that's really good. This one is specifically for generating logos. So you can see they have a bunch of other tools that can help you with that, but we're gonna focus on this text to image workspace here. So when you hit get started, it's going to load you up to this sort of home page that's going to allow you to generate your logo. And for this one, I'm not gonna focus on generating any text because like I said, the text on this one isn't the best. It's doable, but it's, it's a little wonky. So instead of the text, I'm gonna focus more on the image itself and then I could just go add the text later in Photoshop or something like that. So I'm gonna use the same prompt minus the text part. And the cool thing about this one is if you have words that you specifically want to emphasize. So for example, if we really wanted to get some earth tones in there, you select it and then you hit one of these uh, lightning bolt icons to determine it's important. So if it's super important, you could go a three. If it's more important than usual, but not as important, you know, you'd maybe do a two or a one. I'll do a two, because I think earth tones, you know, I do want to have those earth tones in there. And next, what you're gonna do is you're gonna come over here to this option, and you're going to see a bunch of different styles. And you can even go through all of these different categories. We're gonna stick with logo design because that's what we're generating. And right here you can see the text options and they are currently in beta, 
but again, they're not the best right now, so I'm gonna stick up to here. And I think for this one, I'm gonna try icon slash logo, and then I'm just gonna leave these settings the same, but you could definitely change these if you want for your specific logo. And then if you want to exclude certain words, you could exclude them here. And then if you wanna specify the colors, you can do that here. So I'm not really gonna mess with any of this. There's also a bunch of settings over here if you want to like upload your own reference video or you can even draw something if you wanted to but I just want to see what this does just straight with the prompt and with this one selection of icon and emoji. So then I'm going to hit generate and you do only have a limited amount of credits and each generation does take a certain amount of credits. So you do have to upgrade after a while, but until you have to upgrade and until you run out of credits, it's completely free to use. And there we go. We have our logos and I think these look really good. It definitely has that icon and emoji feel to it. So it's not like the other ones where it's more like drawn, but that's because we were focusing on a logo. If we wanted it to be more drawn, we'd have to choose uh, one of these other ones. And I am actually curious. So what if we tried an oil painting style and then generated those? And there we go, we have them done. I don't know why it sort of mixed them with the other ones, but you know, it's we can still see them here. And these definitely have more of that artistic and more organic feel to them, because you know, it's it's an oil painting. So depending on the look and the feel, they have a lot of different options for generating, you know, what exactly you're looking for. And so this one does not take as much intensive like prompt creation because you sort of just put exactly what you want and then focus um, like the style, which I think is sometimes the hardest thing when generating AI images is getting the style and the look exactly how you want it. This has so many built-in presets, you're gonna have that instantly. Um, so then you just really gotta say coffee cup, you know, steam, spoon, plate, you know, whatever you want, and then you're good to go with this one. And so those were the two for the actual like AI generation. The remaining four is going to be a more hands-on logo generation. So this first one here is logo AI, and the other four are very similar to this. It's going to walk you through the process of creating a logo, and then it's going to ask you to pay, and the rest of these are paid services as far as like downloading them legally because you know there's nothing really stopping you from taking a screenshot so just saying but if you're using this for an actual company and not just a hobby thing definitely buy it because you could be sued <laughs> but yeah let's go ahead and hit this let's make a logo button and hit start then it's going to ask for our logo name so i'm going to put in gourmet brew then continue and then in industry so you just pick whatever industry you're doing so i guess the best one for this would be a restaurant i don't know if that's exactly what i would say this is but sure we'll go with a restaurant and then i think warm let's go warm on this for the color scheme and then you just pick a couple uh font styles that you like so for this one i'm going to go handwritten elegant and playful and then it's going to take what you gave it and just put them all together and use its ai algorithm to generate you some logos that it thinks you would like now because you didn't give it much more information aside from just very simply the industry it's going to give you some very generic stuff but it does have the full text and because it's not ai generating the text the text is going to be perfect so for these you're not really choosing it for the finished product, you're choosing it for the one that you like the vibe the best and that has the most potential for your specific uh, logo. And I think I wanna try this one and see what this is going to do because I like the idea of uh, this box over here. Obviously we're gonna change the box, but I wanna see if we can put maybe a coffee mug in between there. So I'm gonna hit this edit button and then you're gonna be brought to this editor where you can pretty much edit everything. You can change the background color, the symbol color, you know, the text and everything about it. So we can click on this logo here, and if we want this to be like a coffee mug, we can type in coffee and search, and then it's gonna see, we're gonna see a bunch of icons over here. So what if we do this? What is that gonna do? I'm liking this concept. If we bring this up a little bit more, we could set this here, but then we have this top part that's a little wonky over here. But if we put it, down a little bit then it could it could be more in the middle like the other concept so i think that looks kind of cool but we can also go in and change this you know to whatever we want so if we wanted it to be 
you know, this one, which doesn't look as good, I would say, but you know, or you could do some coffee beans. You could put the coffee beans up there. And if you don't like any of their icons, they even have this AI generator over here. And then you can even upload your own symbol if you have your own symbol. So this is much more of like an editor that uses your initial input to give you some creations that it thinks you would like. And then you can go in and edit it to your liking. So it's much more hands-on. So then when you're finished, you can go ahead and save it and buy it. And then it's going to make you log in and all that stuff. So, you know, you can move on from there. But this is a definitely a great way to get exactly what you're looking for with no room for, you know, AI error. So that was Logo AI. The next one is Luca. Now this one to start is gonna make you pick your industry, which the other one didn't. So this one, you know, since we have to type it in, I think it's gonna give us a little bit more accurate with what we're looking for. And then we just pick some styles of logos that we like. So let me just pick a few. I like this one, I like this one, this one, this one, and this one. I think that's good. Uh, with that, we're gonna hit continue. Then we're gonna pick a color. I think I'd like an orange for this one. And you could also pick multiple if you wanted multiple, but I think orange is just fine. Then you put in your company name, and then it's gonna ask you to pick five symbols. And this is just like the other one where, you know, you're going to just pick a few symbols. So you're gonna maybe type in coffee for this example and then search. And then you're just gonna pick some symbols that you like. So I like this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. Then once you have your five picked out, you hit continue, and then it's gonna generate some for you to take a look at. And then if you wanted to, you could go back up here and edit the stuff. So if you wanted it to be purple instead of, you know, orange, you could update it, and then it's gonna sort of generate some new ones. And now that I'm looking at it, I think I actually like the purple variants better than the orange for this one, so, um, yeah, it definitely doesn't hurt to, you know, look around and see if they generate some cool ones. And I quite like this one, so I'm going to hit C options and customize. And then it's going to bring you to a very similar looking editor where you can click on the different things and then change it. So I think actually I'm going to choose a purple for this one. And then I will, let's see, maybe I can change this to a different font. And you could even change this to a completely different uh icon if you wanted to. So maybe we'd want to go with this one instead. And there we go. We have our logo edited and ready to go. And then you could scroll down and see, you know, some examples of where this would look and how it would look in those examples. And then if you like it, you can hit this download button and then pay the fee. Now this next site is called Brand Crowd. And again, this is a very similar process, so we're gonna speed through it this time. So we got our company name, and then it's gonna ask us for some keywords. I'm just gonna copy and paste what we had in earlier, cause that's pretty good, I think. And then there we go, that was it. Two step process, and I think these look amazing. And I actually really like this one up here, so I'm gonna click on this one. Then it's gonna ask you for a variation. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with that one, just the default. And then we have our editor, and then you can edit it and then hit download, which is gonna take you to a pay place, and you're good to go. And then finally, we have brand mark. So let's go through this process and see what this one comes up with. This is gonna ask for a brand name and slogan. We don't have a slogan, we just have a brand name. And then this one's gonna ask you for some keywords. So let's go coffee, oops, bean, coffee bean, cup, mug, coffee cup, coffee mug, organic, artistic, warm. Okay, there we go. I like our keywords. Then you choose a color style. I quite like the purple from the other thing, so I'm gonna do that and then choose, I don't know, let's go simple. Or no, let's go organic. And then it's going to generate its thing. And then we can scroll through our options here. It didn't have any, oh, there's some logos. And I like this one. I think this has good vibes going for it. So I'm gonna hit this edit button and then just go in here. And then you could change the colors if you would like. You could also add a slogan if you didn't have one or edit it. And you could browse the icons like, you know, all the others. So maybe for this one, I'll go with this cup. Actually, I changed my mind. I don't like that one. I'll go with this one. That one looks pretty good. And there we go. We have our logo. And you can hit this X button to leave and then you can purchase down here. So out of these four more do-it-yourself kind of logo generators, I think Brand Crowd does the best job. I think it just has the best selection of logos with the littlest input. So yeah, definitely check this one out if you're looking for a more of, you know, do-it-yourself kind of, you know, step-by-step -step process. And again, if you want to check any of these out, the links will be down in the description below. And to discover more cool AI tools like this, check out our website at ai-search.io.